Hi, I'm Jim with Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Third Power Woolly Coats Spanky Junior 6VEL. The Spanky Junior 6VEL is a new high headroom grab and go 5 watt 1x10 combo amplifier. Thanks to Third Power's 6VEL technology, you can operate the amp on most of your favorite tube combinations. The Spanky Junior 6VEL is for virtually everyone and is at home just about anywhere. It's designed on an overbuilt power supply, including the exact high current power transformer as used in Third Power's 20 watt Spanky MK2. So you know it's got enough headroom and punch for any low volume gig, rehearsal, showcase, or any environment where inspiration calls. On the front panel, from left to right, you'll find high and low quarter inch instrument inputs, volume, treble, middle, bass, and the Spanky Junior 6VEL features a Luss Class A tube driven spring reverb to give your tone a vintage style ambient effect. The reverb knob controls the overall sense of space to your sound, and flood mode allows you to turn your Spanky Junior 6VEL into a 100% wet standalone reverb effects device. On the back panel, you'll find the power cable input, four or eight ohm speaker jacks, and the send and return cables for the reverb tank. The Spanky Junior 6VEL features a single 6V6 power tube and a 65 watt WGS ET10 speaker. Finally, this amp weighs in at a lower back friendly 26 pounds. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs on the amp. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at how we're recording. Uh, pretty straightforward, I just have a Sennheiser 906 kind of right on the edge of where the dust cap and the cone meet. Uh, sounded pretty good. So let's take a look at a new amp from Third Power, the Woolly Coats Spanky Junior 6VEEL. 6VEL. Uh, it's a really nice, compact 5 watt amp. Really straightforward. The controls are very simple as we went over in the specs. Uh, the reverb is beautiful as is all the reverb on third power amps. And you have kind of a cool feature here, which we'll get into in a minute, the flood feature. So I'm playing this Gibson uh, Custom Shop 59 reissue. We'll listen to the Custom Shop Black Guard Tele for a little single coil flavor in a bit. So I'm going into the low input. You see how I have the amplifier set up pretty neutrally. Let's begin in the neck. Everything just about on 10. A little crackly, it's my guitar. Just a little angry. Let's hear it in the middle.
So I have a brown protein here. I'm gonna use the blue side for a little bit of very light dirt in the bridge. Let's use the green side. It's kind of like a Nobles ODR1 for a little bit of heavier drive in the bridge. And let's take the reverb down a bit for this. All these third power amps take pedals really well. And it doesn't, you know, these amps are really nice. The EQ is very tight and it doesn't poke anywhere in an unpleasant fashion. Um, since I have the humbucking guitar up, let's, I'm gonna kick it over to the high input and let's just punch the amp um, up and get more of a natural overdrive with no pedals. So I'll go back to the neck. And here is the same settings. Kind of go back to about where I had it before. <laughs> And you see on the higher input, it's, it's a decent bit louder and it's already, with the humbuckers, it's already pushing the amp into overdrive. So I'll tell you in the room, it doesn't really get much louder when you get it like past five, a little bit, but it's really just starting to compress down and just break up a lot more. Let's hear some single coil sounds with the Telecaster. All right, 
Telecaster in the neck. Kick a little delay on. All right, let's hear some drive. Back of that ODR side on the protein. All right, I'm gonna push out the reverb. See what happens when we just wash it out. One of the great things about these reverbs, they're usable across the whole suite. It's not like a Fender where you get it above five and it just kind of gets really muddy. Okay, last, let's check out this flood control. So when you hit it into flood, it just goes 100% wet on the reverb. So this is what this does. Now what the heck would you use that for? Well, if you're running two amps, if you're recording or even live, you just have a wet reverb amp. You can blend it in with a dry amp. A lot of possibilities. It's pretty cool. You can just kind of use it as a standalone reverb unit. And it sounds awesome. All right, well, that should just about cover it. That is the third power Wooly Coats Spanky Junior 6VEL.